All right, your strength. The idea behind this is, is you're basically going to be building in weight to get you primed up and ready to go for the wad. First round of the strength, you're going to be doing three thrusters. We are gonna list what Tarkin did as his progression to build up to the RX weight. Um, so use that as a guide. So thrusters, we start with a clean. We go down to a full squat and then press up. Notice that it's one fluid movement. He's not stopping at his shoulders, but he's driving through those hips, squeezing the glutes, and then finishing overhead. Also notice, like I mentioned in the warm-up video, that he's getting that bar all the way up overhead and finishing over his midline. He's not punching it forward. After his three thrusters, he's gonna do three push presses. We're gonna dip and drive, and it specifically says a push press, so there's no re-dipping under the bar. Dipping straight down to the ground, knees are coming out, squeeze those glutes, and again, finishing over your spine. So three and three, we're gonna be on a three minute loop. You have a little bit of an active rest that we'll talk about at the very end, but your next set is also going to be three thrusters, three push press. And then not to confuse you as things start to get heavier, we're actually gonna go into the push presses first. So first two rounds thrusters, then push press. The third round, we're gonna start with push presses. Starting with that dip drive, then we're gonna go into thrusters. The final two rounds are only going to be thrusters. We're gonna eliminate those push presses. And again, you're gonna be building each time you go through. And the idea is to build up to the weight that you're going to use in the wad, give it a try and feel it out to make sure that you're able to do it. Your active rest is a calf smash, first thing on the list. You can use your barbell. The barbell will have some weights on it, so it'll be up a little bit. And notice Tarkin's finished, or, uh, starting uh, below his knee and then working all the way down his ankle. You can circle with your foot or you can just sort of go back and forth with it. You can even use a handle of a kettlebell if you want to. Another active rest would be wrist mobility. So you can do that four point wrist mobility. Fingers are gonna be pointed away from you, towards you, toggle around. And then the last one is a rolling out of your arm on your barbell, so forearm, because this wad will get a little bit grippy. So just make sure that you're using that active rest time to your advantage.